Hey YouTube, I just want to share you, with you a job that I probably shouldn't have took, but this was when I first started my business for myself. I was out passing cards out, and this was actually the second job that I done, and I think it's the first bigger job that I've done, and uh, I went to this rock quarry and asked the guy you know handed him a card gave him my little speech of what i've been doing and who i was and he had a bucket he wanted fixed and he said his mechanic cut some pieces off of it needed either them put back together and the bottom replated so you know i i didn't think it was going to be that bad but whenever I showed up the next day to start on it. This is what it was. Actually, the sides was actually cut off. This picture's after I had tacked the sides back on. And, but the mechanic had cut the bottom off, cut all the sides off, all the right way. You can see where the weld is. He cut all that out. And, I mean, the bucket's cracked. And I, I really shouldn't have, I, I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't have took this job. But at the same time, I mean, I was trying to get my name out. And I'm not telling you to pass up the little crappy jobs to get your name out. But uh, me not knowing, like, I've never welded a bucket back together before. So the quote, I quoted him some time on it. And I think I quoted him... I can't even remember what it was, but I had double the time in it that I thought I was going to have. And, but here's, here's what it looks like after I'd had welded the side back in and he wanted the old bottom put back in it. And the bottom was actually strips that somebody else had done and it was all busted up. And, but I, I done exactly what he wanted me to do. I put the old bottom in, then I put wrapped it with a new AR plate, and let's see, you know, it, it turned out good for what it was, and then, I mean, this is the massive gaps that was, the guy had cut out all this, and I tried every way in the world for the guy to just let me put a whole new bottom in this bucket, but he just he wasn't having it but you can see it was just beat up so bad and i mean there's that's all the weld i had to put in it i mean it was just it was ridiculous i think i had about 40 pounds 50 pounds of welding rods and these things and i mean this is before i got my LN25 wire feeder, so I was stick welding everything, and I mean, it, it turned out pretty good. You can see where I had to put a patch in the sides, because it was mushroomed out, and I mean, it, it turned out pretty good, but you guys just, just gotta be, just gotta watch out for what you do, and try not to you know, if you're getting into something like this, expect uh, it not turning out the way you want it to. But I had way more time in this bucket than what I thought I was going to have. And I, I told the guy I was going to after I got into it. And he he told me it was fine. And I got finished with it. And he I wrote him out the bill. And he didn't like it. And he was, I ended up having to come down, I think, five or six hundred dollars on my bill and he it took me like two weeks to get back up with him to get my paycheck and i mean it was just it, it was just not a good experience all around but you know figured i would share that with you all i got some pictures of it but since i'm trying to get my channel going i'll start trying to make a few more videos but all you guys and gals that's like my videos and watched them you know i really appreciate it and just 
let me know what y'all want to see you know leave me leave me a comment tell me if you want me to try to do some welding tutorials or whatever i know there's a million of those on youtube so everybody's probably burnt out on them but if you want to know you know just just let me know just leave me some comments i'll do what i can but i really appreciate everybody that's subscribed and that's watched these and just let me know what you want to see i appreciate y'all thanks